Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Another day, another drama, and today we're going to be talking about Sebastian Williams allegedly outing a of James Charles, as well as Keemstar and Rich Lux dragging Smoky Glow. If you haven't seen my previous video titled Jeffree Star Apologizes to James Charles Drags Tati Westbrook, I'll link that in a card up over here, as well as down in the description box down below, so definitely make sure you go and check that out as well. Alright, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Yesterday on July 19th, Sebastian Williams uploaded a video titled Jeffree Star Didn't Apologize to James About This. And in this video, Sebastian Williams took it upon himself to out a potential alleged of James Charles by name in his video. Now we know that Jeffree Star had been circulating this voice memo or this audio recording around to a lot of people, to Tati last year, to Keemstar and Faze Banks on Mom's Basement Podcast a few months ago, and even to Blair White just a month ago. So we know that Jeffree Star has this alleged voice memo or audio recording that he has been playing for people. Well, in this video, Sebastian Williams verifies that yes, this voice memo is real, he has sources who have said it was real, and he actually says by name who this voice memo is from. Here's what Sebastian Williams said in his video. One thing has not been mentioned by anyone, and I haven't seen anyone talk about this. Who was in Jeffree's ear? We want to know who was in Jeffree Star's ear. Jeffree Star is one of the biggest creators on the platform. Who was talking to Jeffree Star about James Charles and was negatively impacting Jeffree Star's opinion? So, the person that was on the voice memo is actually... Yes, guys, I'm just gonna say it. It is... I have it confirmed from multiple sources. No one wants me to speak up, but I have my receipts, so if anyone tries to later say that I'm lying, I will share the receipts, but I was asked not to share anything, but I know it is and he is apparently the only person that could have influenced Jeffree Star's opinion. Sebastian, the reason that nobody wants you to speak about it and nobody wants you to say anything about it is because it's not your place to be saying who it is from. If this is from that actual person that you allege that it is, that's not your story to share. If this person wants to come forward and share their story and say, hey, this is what happened, here is what happened between me and this other person, here is the proof, that is their story to share. It is not your job to be putting out their name if this is true because you just felt like it because you wanted people to know. This is something or a situation that was very traumatizing to this person, I'm sure, if it was true. And now you are putting an actual name and saying, hey, it is this person according to you. So now people are going to start going to this person and say, oh my God, is this true? This is what I heard. This person said that you did this and they said you by name. So tell us what happened. We want to know what happened. And this person might not be ready to talk about this or this person might not want to talk about this at all ever if it is true. So for you to go out there and say by name that this is who this person is allegedly because we don't have proof, it's not fair and it's not your story to share. So that's the reason why people didn't want you to talk about it. Not because they don't want justice for this person, but that is not your story to share. Why do you think that nobody else has shared this voice memo yet? This voice memo has been going around to tons and tons of people. If people really wanted that voice memo out, they could have instantly put it out and say, Here's the voice memo that Jeffree Star sent to me. But that's not their place to be sharing this person's story if any of this is true. That's why nobody wanted to talk about it. And so this got posted on Twitter and of course people started to catch wind of it and people were starting to say, hey, this is not right. You shouldn't be sharing this person's story if this information is true. So Sebastian took down his video and removed that section of the video. All right, let's go ahead and jump on over to the Keemstar, Rich Lux, and a Smoky Glow drama, and that all started out when Keemstar tweeted out the following. Keemstar tweeted out, Keemstar, why do you keep grinding so hard? Followed by moments like this, and then included the following video of Smoky Glow. True. It just is absolutely infuriating. Someone like Keemstar has found success. <laughs> 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 So this is a clip from Smokey Glow's video from August 7th, 2018, so almost two years ago, titled My Thoughts Keemstar. I will link this video down below if you want to go and check it out. 
In this video, Smokey Glow calls out the behavior of Keemstar on several things that he has tweeted out in the past, such as with the situation with Jesse, as well as other things that she just feels is very problematic and that he likes to create drama and just stuff that he tweets out she finds very inappropriate. Now in this clip, you see that Keemstar is extremely zoomed in on her face, and I don't know if he's trying to do that as being shady, but here is an extended version of this clip and what she had to say. What I want to talk about and what I'm really, really upset about are the past couple of weeks, the way that he has been acting on Twitter. I have not seen a lot of people talk about this, and I truly believe that the reason not a lot of people are talking about this is because he, number one, has a very, from what I've seen, he has a very cult-like following. Um, he has stands that will kind of, they're very troll-like and they'll kind of destroy you if you try to talk about this. Um, I've decided I'm fine with that. Number two, I think he, no person is too little for him to pick on. So me at 6,000 subscribers, he has over 2 million, I think. Um, if he caught wind of this, I feel like he would tweet about it because he just doesn't, he'll destroy anyone who talks badly about him. He'll try to destroy. Um, and again, I've just decided I don't care about that. What I wanted to talk about here was the tweets that he has been putting out um, why they're, I think they're so dangerous, not even just whatever, and basically just give you my overall thoughts on why I don't like this person and actively dislike this person and think more creators need to be stepping up and condemning his actions because he's doing horrible things. It just is absolutely infuriating. Someone like Keemstar has found success and what's even more infuriating is the fact that not a lot of people talked about this. And I was really disappointed by that because this is something that was happening not only publicly, but it was in the YouTube community. It was another YouTuber targeting a YouTuber and calling her a liar on something that I feel is really serious. And I 100% agree with what Smokey Glow is saying here. I've had my own run-ins with Keemstar. When I had less than 200 Twitter followers and less than 200 subscribers on YouTube, Keemstar and I got into a battle about him and Trisha Paytas, and I thought that it was inappropriate that he was talking about her substance issues. So 100% what she's saying is that he doesn't care how small of a platform that you have. He will actively attack anybody that he feels is attacking him. Now, I'm not saying you can't stand up for yourself, but this back and forth between me and him lasted like a couple of hours. And yes, I know I am involved because I was messaging him back. But again, you're battling with me, somebody who really doesn't have a platform who's saying, hey, don't be talking about her substance issues. That's not for you to be talking about. Keemstar then doubled down by saying, you throw hate at me and laugh at you. Now you want to play the victim? That might work in your little community, but won't work outside it. Grow up. Be accountable for your hate. To which Smokey Glow replied saying, big oof. Someone else responded saying, just let him go off. He's only proving what you said to be true. To which Keemstar replied saying, I'm just proving you're all a bunch of hypocrites. Like literally video proof. Please try it. And again, I have to agree with the people who are calling Keemstar out and showing that yes, you're exactly showing the person that he is by the fact that he is now attacking you from a video that is almost two years old. I don't know if Keemstar just finally caught wind of this video or if he's been holding on to this in his arsenal so he could use it later. And it's not like Smokey Glow didn't tag him in the video. The tags literally show that she tagged Keemstar in the video as well as Drama Alert. And she also titled the video My Thoughts Keemstar. So he most likely would have found this video if he was searching for himself. And then the reason that Rich Lux got involved in this situation is because he replied to Keemstar's original tweet and said the following. Rich Lux replied by saying, can she find success in blending that eyeshadow? Ha. And a lot of people took this tweet as a negative attack on Smokey Glow. From what I could see in the replies, people were saying, well, you can't blend your makeup either, you're not the best at makeup either, stuff like that. So then people started to go after Rich. Now Rich then issued the following statement. Rich tweeted, Smokey Glow, I made a joke comedy satire about your pink eyeshadow and people said it was rude. What? I apologize if you found the comment joke offensive. It was in response to you saying that someone doesn't deserve success. So I don't know if Rich was trying to say something like, 
Can she find success in blending the eyeshadow? Yes, she can, because her channel has grown extremely well over the past couple of years, as well as she had a collab with Midas Cosmetics where she has her own palette. So I don't know if he was trying to say, yes, she can find success in blending the eyeshadow. I don't know if it was just worded extremely poorly. We all know that Rich doesn't use the best words. We all saw that video of him in the past talking about Jeffree Star and racism. So I'm not exactly sure what he was trying to say here, but the thing is when you put things out on Twitter and if they don't come across the way that you expect them to or the way that you intend them to, then of course they will respond and say, hey, I don't think that what you said here is very nice. Smokey Glow then issued a statement addressing everything, and she said the following. Smokey Glow then went on to issue a statement which reads, Hi, I just wanted to say that I'm thankful and overwhelmed by all the love and support I've received today. I can't tell you guys how much it means to me, and I can't express how much I appreciate your support. With that being said, I don't want anyone to feel the need to fight with or call out anyone over this situation. People who post these kinds of things are willingly playing the, quote, bad guy to get clicks and views. It's not worth the time or effort to get into a Twitter fight with somebody who's willingly playing a character and designs content like this to get a reaction. The best thing to do is to ignore it, move on, and enjoy your day. I promise you internet bullies don't hurt my feelings. I grew up with two sisters and I was a theater kid in high school. I'm doing just fine and I hope you are as well. And I think that this is a very good statement from Smokey Glow. She basically just said, you know what, don't waste your time and energy on these people because they're just going to bring in negativity and why waste your time with that? Because that's what they want to do. And she said also, hey, you know what, I grew up with sisters. I was a theater kid. I'm used to people picking on me. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to worry about it. You shouldn't worry about it either. After Smokey Glow issued her statement, Rich Lux also issued another statement apologizing to Smokey Glow and he said the following. Rich tweeted, I owe an apology to at Glow Smokey. What I believe to be a joke has been taken out of context, and I apologize for that. It wasn't my intention to cause upset of any kind. I understand that what I see as a joke can come across differently online when out of context. This is the reason I deleted the tweet. It doesn't remove the impact of what I've said. I'm sorry for any offense I may have caused, and I thank at Glow Smokey for such a neutral response as I know others may not have taken it so lightly. This was not an attack on anyone's looks, as it may have seemed that way. I did not mean for the intention to be that. I am sorry. And I will commend Rich for issuing an apology for Smokey Glow. Even though he was trying to make a joke, it didn't come off that way, and a lot of people took it as a negative thing. We know, again, with Rich that he doesn't use his words the best, so hopefully in the future, Rich will really sit down and think about before he tweets something, if it comes off as a joke, or if people can somehow twist it into it not being a joke, because when you are using words on Twitter, you don't have any tone behind them, so you don't really know what people are saying, and it can come off multiple ways depending on how you want to take it. So not every joke is going to land on Twitter, so you just have to be very careful about how you use your words. But that is everything that I have for today's video, so I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think about Sebastian Williams putting a name with the alleged voice memo that has been circulating behind the scenes? Do you think it's fair for him to put that information out there, or do you think it's very damaging for the person who this voice memo is supposedly from? What do you think about Keemstar going after Smokey Glow? Do you think that he was very calculating with how he put that video onto Twitter, as well as the fact that this video is from two years ago? Or do you think that he's trying to stand up for himself? What do you think about Rich Lux and his alleged joke? Do you think it was a joke? Do you think he meant it in a different way? Or do you think that he was attacking Smokey Glow? Let me know what you think about everything down in the comments below. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, I greatly appreciate it if you could hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell icon and set your notifications to all so you'll be notified of every time I upload a new video. Alright, that's everything for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!